Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, this is our seventh session for real functions. In the previous session, we discussed some of the problems based on finding out the domain of a function. We uh, have taken one problem based on logarithm. In this session, we'll be taking more problems based on logarithm. How to find a uh, how to find the domain of a function in case of uh, logarithmic functions. So let's begin this session. Uh, so let's take this problem. As we have already discussed in the previous session about logarithm, the base, I write it over here once again, the base of the logarithm should uh, be greater than zero as well as it should not be equal to one and the index of the logarithm should be greater than zero. Right now, let's take this problem. Uh, we have to find out the domain of this function. Now, this function to be defined, this is index. Base is already greater than uh, zero, so don't have to worry about it. X plus three should be greater than zero. Right? That means x plus three must be a positive quantity. That means x must be greater than minus three. Now, the denominator should not be zero. What is denominator? That is uh, x plus one, x plus two. And that should not be equal to 0. So x should not be equal to minus 1 and minus 2. Right? x should be greater than minus 3. So we need to consider all the values from minus 3 to infinity. And we, we have to discard minus 1 to minus 1 and minus 2. Right? So we have all the values from minus 3 to infinity over here in this option. And we have discarded minus 1 and minus 2. So that's the correct choice. Okay, so two things are clubbed over here, domain of the logarithm as well as denominator should not be equal to zero. So you need to consider both the things. Okay, let's take the next one. Now here, uh, logarithm of this, uh, I'm sorry, domain of this function, here x square minus 9 is uh, in the uh, under modulus, right? So this quantity will always be positive. So no need to worry about that. But x square minus 9 this uh, should not be equal to 0. Why? Because logarithm of 0 is not at all defined. That means x should not be 3 or minus 3. Except 3 or minus 3, if it takes any value, then finally uh, this expression will be converted to positive because of this modulus sign. Right? So x should not be 3 or minus 3. So from the entire set of real number, we have to discard the two values 3 and minus 3, both of them right so that's correct now what is the difference between this and this see from uh, in this uh, option all the values from minus 3 to 3 are discarded okay because this bracket right in this case only the values minus 3 and 3 only two values are discarded there are infinite values there are only two values right we can take any value between minus 3 to 3 only minus 3 and 3 are discarded Okay, so be very clear with uh, between uh, the difference between these two options. Okay, our correct option is this. We can take the values between minus 3 and 3 as 1 and 2 are allowed. We are, uh, we cannot take only minus 3 and 3. I hope you are getting me. Let's see the next one. Now this problem, uh, domain of this function. Once again, we, uh, there are two functions. So we need to consider uh, the two expressions so we need to consider both of them so first of all 2 minus x should be greater than equal to 0 that means x minus 2 just a moment 2 minus x should be greater than equal to 0 that means x minus 2 should be less than equal to 0 apart from that 9 minus x square the quantity is in the denominator as well as in the square root so 9 minus x square should be greater than 0 not uh, equal to only greater than 0 that means x square minus 9 should be less than 0 that means x minus 3 x plus 3 should be less than 0 so minus 3 to 3 that means from here x belongs to minus 3 to 3 okay from here and from here x uh, should be less than 2 okay that means x belongs to minus infinity to 2 and uh, 2 is included right now we have to club these two merge these two that means we have to take the common portion right so this is also this should be considered as well as this should be considered right for that what you can do you draw a number line mark the points minus infinity minus 3 2 and 
3. Now this is minus infinity to minus 2. Right? And this is minus 3 to 3. Okay? So here we have to see the common portion that is see this line is coming from minus infinity to 2 and this is from minus 3 to 3. So this portion right that you can see both the lines are coming in between. So your final answer will be intersection of these two that is minus 3 to 2 right. So the minus 3 to 2 are the is the favorable range for this function to be existed okay. So, from that minus 3 is actually not at all included, but 2 can be included. So, minus 3 to 2, this will be your answer. Okay. So, uh, when you have to find out the intersection, what you can do is you can draw number line like this. Mark all the points over there and then find out the common um, values of x for the functions to be defined. Right. Now, domain of this function. So this function is under square root, this term is under square root as well as um, in the denominator, right? That means this should be greater than 0. Now when it is possible, say this is x and this is also x. Uh, the only difference is this is positive value of x and this is x only. So what happens if x, this, um, if you have the positive values of x, then this will be positive and this will also be positive. Suppose x is 2. So this will be 2 minus 2 that will be 0 but we want the quantity to be greater than 0. So what we have to do uh, we have to choose the negative values of x because this uh, modulus will make the negative values to be positive and uh, because of this minus sign this x will also be positive finally it will be converted to positive. Suppose you take x is equal to minus 2. So what will happen? This will be convert uh, minus 2 modulus of minus 2 will be 2 and minus of minus 2 will be positive quantity. That's positive 2, right? So we need to choose the negative values of x for the function to be defined. So that's r minus. Even 0 is not at all included, okay? I hope you are getting me. Now this uh, one bit deviation, bit twisted, uh, but it's very easy. Uh, the quantity under square root should not be uh, less than 0. So I just write log of x square minus 6x plus 6 should be greater than equal to 0, right? Now since the base of the logarithm is not given, uh, we can assume it to be any, uh, any base, okay? So generally, if the base is not given, and under the calculus, we need to assume it to be E, right? So we take the base over here as E, right? Now this quantity should be greater than 0. Now 0 can be written as log 1 because log 1 is what? 0. So I write log instead of this uh, base I am keeping same. So that's log 1. Instead of 0, I put log 1, right? Now E, in both the side the base is E, so if I take anti log what I can do, x square minus x, 6x plus 6 should be greater than equal to 1. Getting my point? Okay, I just have taken anti log, right? Now what happens in this case, see if this base, be, uh, uh, just listen to me carefully, if this base is greater than 1, this sign will be maintained if you take anti log right? If this base is less than uh, 1, then the sign of inequality will be changed, okay? You have to be very careful about it. In this case, the base is E. That's why we are retaining this sign, okay? Now, what x square minus 6x plus 6 is greater than 1? That means x square minus 6x plus 5 is greater than equal to 0 or I can say x minus 2. I'm sorry, the factors will be 5 and 1 should be greater than equal to 0. Okay, so I just mark 1 and 5. So minus infinity to 1 union 5 to infinity, right? 1 and 5, both of them are included. So minus infinity to 1 and 5 to infinity, 1 and 5, both of them are included, right? So this is the simple strategy to solve this problem. Okay, once you are clear about it, after that the remaining steps are quite similar to the previous problems, okay? Now, similarly this one, uh, we have the power half to the entire 
term that means the entire quantity is under square root right that means log 10 5x minus x square by 4 should be greater than equal to 0 now what as in the previous case we can replace 0 with log 1 so instead of 0 I will be taking log 1 I will be keeping the basis 10 in both the cases okay now since 10 is greater than 1 the sign of inequality will be maintained if I take uh, anti log so 5x minus x square by 4 should be greater than equal to 1 that means 5x minus x square should be greater than equal to 4 that means uh, 5x minus x square minus 4 should be greater than equal to 0 right see if I multiply this sign uh, this uh, side by minus uh, then the sign of inequality will be changed. So what I do x square minus 5x plus 4 will be less than equal to 0. Okay. You have to be very careful about it. When you change the sign of inequality the entire expression is multiplied by negative or vice versa. Now just factorize this x uh, minus 4 x minus 1 should be less than 0 so that's 1 that's 4 so uh, we want less than equal to so the quantity I'm um, sorry the value of x should be between 1 to 4 both of them are included right uh, because we have this in, uh, equal to sign so from 1 to 4 so that's this okay isn't it very easy friends now friends in the competitive exam the other way uh, out of asking this question is how many integral value x can take for the function to be defined how many integral value x can take if the function has to be defined right so uh, see x is lying between 1 to 4 right so how many values are there 1 2 3 4 so in short we can say um, for this function to be defined x can take four values that is 1 2 3 and 4 right so these are the different ways of asking the question or otherwise it can be asked what are the favorable values of x or how many favorable values uh, how many favorable integral values of x right so various ways are there in all the cases you need to find out the domain of the function that's it okay so we'll be taking more problems in the next session in a further session do practice with all the problems Okay, I'll see you in the next session once again. Bye-bye.